Navy SEAL CEO sent Meg a fatal message after her pathetic presence set up by WME, never invited back. We all know that Meghan asked the WME agency to intervene to participate in the military event in the past few days, but that wasn't simple. It came with a series of conditions that the organisation required of Meghan and Harry. Meghan and Harry took part in the grand opening of the Navy SEALs Foundation's Warrior Fitness Programme West Coast facility on Wednesday, and CEO of the Navy SEAL Foundation Robin King tells People that the couple knew their stuff. They'd done a lot of homework on the Navy SEAL Foundation, on the programme King shares exclusively. She adds that Meghan and Harry came prepared. The statement comes as it's alleged that WME made arrangements with the Navy SEAL Foundation to have the Harkles' pathetic presence. They were only allowed to stand there and get their pictures taken. Not speech, not microphone, not ribbon cutting. Every time Harry and Meghan tried to play royals, they look even more foolish. They decided to leave the royal family because they were tired of greeting people without getting paid, visiting sick people, cutting ribbons, or simply smiling for a photo. Well, but that's exactly what they do now. Earlier, many people also believed that there was no way that they were actually invited, and it had to be because the Navy SEALs Foundation was given a generous donation by Harry and Meghan's PR. Someone said that the Harkles were a last-minute addition, not really invited to any events and never invited back. They were so desperate to overshadow the real royals and get themselves in the news to deflect from the court case. They got on a plane to stand and do nothing. It's embarrassing. It comes after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's friend and their biographer Omid Scobie has been slammed for his ridiculous remarks about King Charles III's recent trip to Kenya. The 74-year-old Britain's monarch and his wife Queen Camilla recently visited the African nation to ease the tension with the Commonwealth country. However, Scobie, who famously co-authored the pro-Harry and Meghan biography, Finding Freedom, said that a moment during the trip which saw Charles and Camilla walk over a red carpet in a muddy field was proof the monarchy was out of touch. Omid Scobie has also accused the king of being unpopular while promoting his new book, Endgame. The author also described Prince William as power-hungry. He also took aim at the Queen saying Camilla's willing to go to dangerous lengths to preserve her image. Prince Harry's also hold insults at Camilla in his book Spare. Royal insider Richard Eden, speaking about the incident on the Daily Mail's Palace Confidential podcast, blasted outspoken Scobie's comments, saying the couple had little choice but to follow the lead of their hosts. I think it was a great success and it certainly seemed to be from the Kenyan point of view, but there seems to be every time that there's a royal trip abroad, there's all these and it tends to be the leaders for Harry and Meghan that are desperately looking for them to slip up, said Eden. The royal commentator went on, and what we've had over the past week was we had one of those most outspoken cheerleaders, Omid Scobie, who was highlighting an image of King Charles and Queen Camilla and a red carpet that had been laid over a sort of muddy field. Reacting to the author, who also considered Harry and Meghan's friend Eden, said it was ridiculous that such a backlash could be aimed towards the king and queen. How disrespectful it would have been if he'd said to his hosts, well, I'm not standing on that carpet, roll it up before I go there. He can't be ordering the locals around, and if he did, you know, the first one to be complaining would be people like Omid Scobie.